Hi, welcome to Craft a Bit of Things. Thanks for joining me today. Um, uh, today I'm making another thank you card. Um, and this time I thought I may as well kill two birds with one stone again. It's another customer thank you card. Um, and I thought I may as well do the Joy of Sets monthly challenge for September and make my card a thank you card for that. So the Joy of Sets challenge for September is, um, I'll link the Joy Sets below, it's a Facebook group, it's fab, not just stamping up, you can use anything you like, and they have monthly challenges, daily on the spot challenges, hops, all sorts going on. Um, and um, this month for, for September, it's um, a fun fold or um, unusual fold cards is the theme. Now, I haven't been very, very adventurous because the example that we were given was this card that I'm making. But as it happened, this card that I'm making was one that I'd, I've only ever made once. I think it was last Christmas. And I've always wanted to, to make it again. And I just never got around to it. So I thought, the next time I make a fold, fun fold card, it's going to be that. And so it's just sort of a coincidence, really. So I'm starting with an 8x8 um, white base. Um, so it's just 8 inches by 8 inches. And it's scored 4 inches on both sides. And then I've just scored it from point to point. Okay. So where you score, and, and when you burnish um, your score lines, the two uh, that go right across are scored mountain. And the two diagonals are scored valley, okay? And then it all just neatly folds up like so. So this is the front, and then I'm going to go decorate the inside. This is where I'm going to write, so I'm not going to put anything on here. And it looks a little bit bland. No, it's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm using up some scraps. I'm on a mission to use up scraps. My scrap pile is very small at the moment now. I've managed to get it down. Um, what I tend to do is I put keep my scrap pile on my desk um, so that I can see it at all times. If I put it in a box or put it away in a folder or something, then I'm not conscious of it um, and I don't use it. So if I keep it on my desk, it's always there and I can see it and I know that it needs using and it gets used. And so I'm on a mission at the minute to get it down um, and it's going down. So, yeah. Um, so you'll see some things that you've seen me use recently, no doubt. Um, so this was my leftover paper. This was from a Tonic Studios um, pack. I think it was called Blossom. Um, I can't remember exactly, but it was beautiful anyway. It's be well, it's not was, it is beautiful. The card I made, I don't know if it's the card I made yesterday, but that was um, from the same stack, that lovely floral paper there. So I'm using the rest of this. So I've got, um, obviously all these panels are now four by four inches. So um, the this DSP has been cut down to three and, um, three and seven eighths, I think. Yeah, three and seven eighths of an inch square. So that's gonna go on that front panel. And then also on the front panel is gonna go a square that I've cut using a scalloped square framelet. I think it's from the layering squares frame that's from Stampin' Up. Um, it's three inches uh, by three inches. I think it is from that set. It might not be, but I think it is. And then I used, I just used basic black ink to stamp um, thank you or thanks kindly. And I just took that from the one big meaning retired stamp set. Um, yeah, so that's that's going on there. And then I'm going to put a little piece of ribbon across there. Um, I'll show you, if you don't know how to do the bow, I'll show you how to make a bow using a comb or a bone folder or even a fork in a minute. Um, so that's going to go across there on the front. And then inside, like I said, that's where I'm going to write, so I'll probably leave that blank. Um, but I'm going to pop just some panels just to give it some interest 
on the diagonals on the triangles and all I've done is again it's three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths square and I've just cut it down the middle okay on a diagonal and then just to dress up the inside here I've got a piece of black which is three by seven eighths by three and three by seven eighths and then the same um, square scallop square again and this time I've used the daisy punch some vellum some black cardstock and I'm going to layer up a daisy to pop on there and then this like I said I'm going to just write on um it looks a bit blank doesn't it well it, it won't look blank when I've written on it obviously okay so I'm just decorating four of the panels so I'll start with the front also very pretty I think it's very cute I think because of the fold you don't want to over elaborate the the actual card itself I think that's quite a cute card and then I can write here and that's it okay. right, I mean I suppose you could what you could do is you could make a little box to put it in or you could make um, you know, a nice sort of deep envelope to pop it in, or um, you could make a band to go around it to hold it still, a belly band maybe out of vellum or something. I'm not going to because it's going to go into something else, mine, so it's going to go into another package, so um, it doesn't really need to be held down like that. But I just think that's a lovely little card, um, and it's getting me in the fun fold mood, which is great. Okay, so I'll see you again shortly. Thanks for watching and um, take care. Bye bye.